Hi guys and dolls, how are you? So I was going to do a video talking to you about um, the procedure for donating plasma. It's a long, long, drawn out procedure. You're going to feel like you're applying for a government job. I'm not kidding. They want your fingerprints. They want 70 questions answered. They want a whole bunch of other questions answered. They want this short form filled out. They want your medications and all the milligrams. They, I mean, it's literally several hours on your first initial time going. And then after you do all of that, it's different. You go in, you get, give your donation and, you know, that's it. But initially, if you think you're going to go in there and you're going to fill out a short form and then you give you give pl uh, plasma and you're done. <laughs> um, so I will go over those details, but I wanted to get this video out first because I noticed this and it's concerning and I don't I don't think there's anything that could be done about it. So. Jules, J-O-U-L-E-S, Lowell, L-O apostrophe W-E-L-L. She does these videos and she just did a video talking about how men do not protect women. And they don't. They don't do that anymore. And I've said that I don't know how many times on my video, on my channel. Um, men just don't, they don't do that anymore. And women are talking about how there's even men that are afraid of other men because of their aggression and that kind of thing. So they don't want to intervene because they like, I ain't trying to sign up for what he's doing with this person. I, I'm not trying to sign up for that. So the world is drastically changing and none of it is for the better. I have never had a man protect me except for maybe once. And that was my friend that I've known since I was 18. Um, we are still friends to this day. He was best friend or is best friends with my uncle and that kind of thing. So he and my uncle got involved in that particular situation. But so far as men protecting women, they don't do that anymore. There may be exceptions to that rule. I've never met them. And we have to protect ourselves against men. We have to have, you know, weapons just to, just to be on the safe side, you know, um, men are retaliating against women because he's trying to mac you and you're not down. So you have to pay for that. You have to be penalized for that. She talked on her, her page about, um, I just saw this video a few minutes ago. She said a guy was trying to mac this woman. She said, you know, he wanted her phone number. She didn't want to give it. And he hit her upside the head with a brick. what it's weird and creepy so we have to deal with physical assault from men we have to deal with sexual assault from them we have to deal with sexual harassment on the job you are supposed to go to work to get a paycheck not to get laid i can't stand that shit even men who have somebody in their life they're still looking at you like hey how you doing? Excuse me. Don't you have a wife at home? Don't you have a girlfriend or something? A lot of them are sexual opportunists. I've said this many times. Okay. Women have died because they rejected a man. They have been beat up because they rejected a man. Um, of any FBI profiler will tell you, and I'm the person who knows, you know why? Because I watch a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of criminal documentaries. I also worked with law enforcement myself on more than one occasion. So I sort of kind of know what I'm talking about. If you talk to any uh, FBI criminal profiler, they will tell you that the average person who is a serial killer is middle-aged white and has a blue collar type of job. And they're they're usually very socially awkward and they like to target and do horrible things to women. 
So on one hand, men want you, you're going to have to trust somebody and this and that. Well, how can we trust when you all are the ones that we have to protect ourselves against? Jules is right with that. And we're not talking all men. So if you don't fit in this category, good for you. You're not who I'm talking about. Okay. Um, you know, women are getting murdered left and right. Pregnant women are getting murdered left and right. Um, he didn't want a kid and you insisted on letting yourself get pregnant when you could have prevented that. We're in the year 2023, Jesus. We have so many forms of birth control. There's no reason to get knocked up unless you just fertile myrtle and you used a condom and you had birth control and you used a diaphragm and you still got pregnant. You might be fertile if somebody says the word pregnant. So birth control don't work for you, but a lot of people it don't work for because they're not taking it. It don't work unless you take it. And you're so over the moon and you think you're going to lock this guy in. We're going to keep it real today. We're going to keep it real today. You think you're going to lock this guy in and you end up losing your life. Was it worth it? I bet it wasn't. So these males are who we have to protect ourselves against. I remember another, what is, what is she talking? She said something about another guy that got the attack, the woman, because, oh, they just got married. This, this particular couple had just got married and he decided to show his ass on a wedding night at the hotel. They ordered room service. And because she ordered waffles instead of pancakes, he chucked her across the room. Ta-da! This is who I am. This is who you married. I know we were so romantic and we held hands and we looked in each other's eyes and I love you forever. Bullshit. The minute they said I do, she wishes she never said I do. I would be in the lawyer's office getting an annulment so quick his head would spin and everybody else's head would spin. You think I'm going to stay with you and you're crazy? You must be out of your goddamn mind. You didn't lock me in, bitch. There's something called annulment. Got it? Good. Um, You didn't lock me into shit. <laughs> okay. Let's get that straight. So... Wow. You know, women can't walk the street certain hour of the night. Men are, you know, predators and they're out all hours of the night. And, you know, killers are out all hours of the night. Uh, some women have gotten attacked in broad daylight, broad daylight in front of God and everybody. Okay. One woman was, there's not a nice way to put it. She was beheaded in broad daylight by this dude because... She was going to spill his secrets and I'm going to tell your guy friends that you were with men and, and this and that. And he was sure he, he was just going to make sure that didn't happen. Well, now it not only did happen, all your business is out there, but you murdered her. So now you're going to be, you'll get your choice of men in prison. Okay. So I hope that was worth it too. Um, broad daylight. He attacked. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to turn this fan on y'all. Can y'all bear with me? Thank you. Lower, making a mess. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the little delay, but I needed to get some air flowing. Too damn warm. Okay. Mm. So I remember one time I was standing next to this individual, and I had these. When you have fibro, you're sensitive to sound. So super loud music all of a sudden kids screaming at the top of their lungs in a store, usually white people's parent kids because white people cannot control their children. Not all, chill, chill, baby, chill. But some white people let their kids do anything they didn't want to God dang do, scream at the top of their lungs, and they sit there and pretend they don't fucking hear it. Gets on my nerves, can you tell? Anyway, I mean, <laughs> I mean, just constant in public. I mean, <laughs> I wish I would have tried that. I'd be dead. I would have been buried six feet under if I even remotely thought about that as a kid. Anyway, so I'm standing next to this individual and these dudes came in the parking lot, a white guy and a, and a black guy, young, probably 19, 20, nah, eight, between maybe, maybe younger than that, but 17, 18, somewhere in that range, 19. And they came in there, blasted the music and it, it, it basically... For those of us who have fibro, 
it assaults our senses. It's that super loud music. It just feels like it's punching on your senses and it just makes you go, oh. Now, if I'm in the car and I hear my jam and I turn it up loud, I expect it to be loud because I'm turning it up loud. Common sense, right? But if I don't expect it and it, it is blaring at me, it's, it's assaulting my ears. And it's disruptive. It's just a mess. And so I very, very kindly asked them, do you think you guys could turn, turn your music down? Before they left, they got in their, they did their thing, they got in their truck and they left. Before they left, they decided to call me the four letter C word. And the individual that was next to me, and I thought he would defend me because I'm stupid. I did this number to him. Like, don't say anything is cool. In other words, we don't know if they have a weapon. We don't know, you know, like... I thought he would defend me and maybe, like I said, maybe I'm stupid. Men don't do that anymore. They just don't. They don't. And then you have how much of a percentage of them that are trying to be women. So, <laughs> okay. So we're losing our percentage of men. We're losing that. Yeah, I mean, I instantly looked at him like, it's all good. Like, just let them be ignorant because they, they want to start something they want to so don't give them that don't reward them with that but I didn't have to worry because he wasn't gonna say nothing no damn way he was gonna stand there and look stupid that's why I really enjoyed the show um, what would you do and they have these scenarios and they like to see how people respond to those scenarios to see if you would get involved, if you don't get involved, do you say something to the cashier when she says something to the disabled person, like, can you hurry up? There's a long line of customers, you know, is there somebody in the lines that's going to say, hey, this person's got some, you know, got some stuff going on. Why are you being so evil? Why, why you gotta be so mean? You know what I mean? I would probably get busted on that show because I would defend somebody. But maybe, again, maybe I'm stupid because that's not what you do anymore. But I'm just going to have to be stupid. I would defend the person. Why are you being so mean? That's not necessary. The person obviously has issues going on. Be patient. And then all the cameras would come out and they'd be like, hey, we need to talk to you. We're with the TV show. What would you do? And I'd be like, oh, God, are you serious right now? I'd, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to sign up for that. But I... It wouldn't surprise me if I got busted because I'm not going to stand there and, and be a punk. I'm not going to just stand there and let you be mean to this person for no reason. Now, if they started being hateful to you and you responded back to defend yourself, that's a different story. But like I said, these weren't real scenarios. They're just trying to it's like a social experiment to see if anyone would get involved Would anyone intervene. So I really don't know what's going on with our society. And I'm not talking about a situation where. Women are like, I don't need no man, and he don't need, I don't, man, 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 I, I, I take care of myself. I don't need you holding the door for me. And da, da, da. We're not talking about those women, okay? Women like myself, I like when you hold the door for me. It's just a good, even if you're a woman, it's okay to hold the door because it's just manners and respect, which we don't have anymore either. That's a, that's an old-fashioned ideology saying, I'm sorry, thank you, um, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Those are just old-fashioned 1800s mentalities, obviously, because people don't do this shit no more. Not only that, but they don't hold the door for you. I mean, I don't know, I, don't, I really don't know what the hell is wrong with people, to be totally honest with you. I don't know what's wrong with them. Manners are gone, morals are gone, ethics are gone. <clears throat> Dr. Romney, I'm on a roll, Dr. Romney did a video talking about why it's difficult to date after a narcissistic relationship. And I, I may go back and see it later. I don't know. But the real reason, and I went there, I freaking went there because everybody's giving all these floral, flowery responses. Ain't nobody hitting the truth. Well, I'm going to hit the goddamn truth. I said, well, as a woman, it's hard to date because women nowadays are loose. And they're spreading faster than peanut butter. So when you do that, you're teaching men that my only value is between my legs that's what you do when you fling your legs open for every man that talks to you 
you're teaching men that I'm not really a human being, I'm a vagina. That's all I'm worth. What I got between my damn thighs, that's the only thing that you should worry about. And that's the only thing that's important to me, on me, is my, my vagina. So, why, so then men would approach me like, what's the problem? What's the problem is I'm not McDonald's and I'm not serving billions. That's what the problem is, ass white. Women teach men to disrespect them. They teach when they teach men that their only value is a triangle between their legs, and it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Our whole world is changing in such a horrific way that I wouldn't be surprised if the end was near. Because my God, how bad does it have to get before God says, "Okay, that's it. It's a wrap now. That's it. That's it. Here comes the rapture. I'm done." I wouldn't be surprised if we're close to that. So I'm not talking about women who, like I said, that are trying to be men. I don't need no man. You don't have to hold the door for me. I ain't crippled. Really? Why can't he be a man, a gentleman? Because they're very few and far in between. So if you do see one, you might want to embrace that because it's rare. Okay? That's rare. And like I said, because women are spreading, they're teaching women, te teaching men to disrespect women even more, objectify them even more, treat them like a vagina even more, have no respect for them even more, objectify the hell out of them. It's stupid. It's asinine. If you're that horny, get your ass on Amazon and buy a toy. Moving right along. I'm so glad my body doesn't control me. I could go without sex the rest of my life, and I'd be okay with that. I thank God I'm not a man. Thank God. Anyway, and the objectification, I mean, I, I saw this video one time, and this goes to lack of respect too, right? I watched this video where this woman was welcomed by um, these lions in, in her, their uh, pride which is their group that they have formed, you know, and you're a member of the group, you're a part of the pride. So they, and some guy, she's, she's an attractive lady, but that's not the point. That wasn't the point of the video. But somebody has to be perverted and say, oh God, she's beautiful and she could, you know, she could whatever with me anytime she wants to. And I'm like, you missed the entire point of the video. That's, that's sick. What is wrong with you? Typical male mentality. I saw another, I'm just ranting. I saw another woman who had shorts on because she was in physical therapy. You want to wear something comfortable so that, you know, you can move whichever way they need you to move without restrictions. And he was like, oh my God, she's got beautiful legs. And I'm like, oh my God, are you serious? I jumped his ass. I said, this is for medical purposes, for physical therapy. Don't be rude. Don't be disrespectful. And why are you sexualizing a medical video? This is about her physical therapy. Are you serious right now? It's gross. But women encourage that by spreading for everybody who talks to them. So it's kind of like an uphill battle. You can't teach men to be respectful when women insist on being disrespected. Okay? They insist on being disrespected. You can have some poon. You said hi to me, didn't you? You told me I was pretty. Ew. And you wonder why syphilis is coming back, chlamydia is coming back. You damn straight it is because people are nasty. Nasty. I'm not OCD about germs, but when you think about who's banging who and not using protection and just willy-nilly with their body, ew. Ew. Gross. Nasty. There's a reason you're doing that, and it requires therapy with your clothes on therapy okay you ain't that horny something is wrong with you you're trying to fill a void men or women both it doesn't matter either one doesn't matter you're trying to fill a void you're trying to validate yourself there's something else going on other than you're just so hot you got to bake everybody there's more to it than that you just got to get to the bottom of what that is okay you're not that damn horny Ugh. anyway yeah men don't protect women anymore they just don't they don't they don't. And the ones who do are abusive. They like to fight. They like to fight men. They like to fight women. Uh, why are you looking at my girl? I'll punch you in the face. Bah, bah, bah. So that's toxic masculinity. You don't have to 
punch anybody in the face just because they looked at your woman. You could just say, hey, man, you know, that's my wife or that's my girlfriend. I, you know, she told you she was seeing somebody. And so I don't know why you're still persisting, but I suggest you chill. Don't be disrespectful. I'm not disrespecting you. Don't disrespect my woman, okay? You don't have to go around punching everybody in the nose. Do they need it? Probably sometimes, but you can't just go around doing that. <laughs> okay? Or else my hands would always be sore. I'd be hitting everybody. <laughs> Quit laughing. It's not funny. Um, anyway, I'm going to get off here. Yeah, they don't protect women anymore. We need to be protected from them. We need to be protected from them. The anger and misogyny, the hatred towards women is at an all-time high. All-time high. And I don't know why that is, but it's getting worse. The murders are increasing at a dramatic pace. I don't know what's going on. It's, it's bad. If you have ideas as to why men don't protect women, by all means, let me know. We have to protect ourselves. Even in so-called relationships, we have to protect ourselves. Because our man just stands there like, uh, what's going on? Come on. What is happening? I don't recognize the world we're in. I feel like a stranger. But I've always felt that way. I've always felt out of place in this world. Ever since, probably ever since I was young, I felt like I'm in the wrong I'm, I don't know. I, I, I just can't relate to how people are and why they treat each other the way they do. And nobody cares about anybody but themselves. I'm first, me, me, me. I, I, it's bizarre to me. It's real bizarre. I've always felt out of place because people have no respect, no manners, no self-respect, nothing. Anyway, I don't know why guys don't respect anymore. If you have any ideas, by all means, put them in the, um, in the comments below because... We have to protect ourselves. I remember the first, I'm going to tell you this one story. Uh, the first person I was with, the long-term relationship, we eventually got married. Um, he's emotionally dead. He's like being with a Sears mannequin. But when we were seeing each other, we were riding bikes, and I was behind him, and we were riding in Mount Vernon, New York, and some guys were in a car, and one of them reached out and smacked me on the butt when you drove by. I didn't tell him until way later, and he was like, why didn't you tell me? I said, what were you going to do? What were you going to do? You're on a bike, they're in a car, they could run you over, kidnap me, have their way with me. I mean, what were you going to do about it? Plus, he's so super chill that I can't really see him defending me. Like, man, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. What's wrong with you? I mean... The world is just, I don't know, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't. I don't. Anyway, if you have any ideas, by all means, let me know. Let's talk about it in a civil way without fighting and arguing and insulting people because I will block your ass quick. Got that? Good. Talk to you later. Bye.